Hello there internet dwellers, welcome back to another video. This one is a different video completely, it's something that I wouldn't normally do on my channel, but considering that this channel focuses on like analog horror, back rooms, horror in general, and the fact that one of my first viral videos on this channel was a Kane Pixels back rooms video, I think it's quite fitting to do this video. So for those who are unaware, Kane Parsons aka Kane Pixels is in talks with working on a film of the back rooms. So his series has basically been adapted into a film and some of the companies that had taken this on is absolutely mind boggling. So we have an article here by Deadline.com. I'll put it in the description down below so you can read it for yourself. It says the Backrooms horror film based on viral shorts by 17 year old Kane Parsons in works at A24, Atomic Monster, Churning and 21 Laps. And I think just to get a grasp of how huge this actually is, we need to see the films that these companies have made, if you're unaware. So Atomic Monster, they're known for films such as The Nun, Annabelle, The Conjuring 2, and The Conjuring 3, I guess, more Conjuring 1, I'm not sure if they did that one as well, most likely. A24 did X, Pearl, Midsummer, and Hereditary, some huge names there. Churning Entertainment did the Fear Street series on Netflix, Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, that's huge within itself. And 21 Laps did Night at the Museum, Free Guy, Arrival, The Adam Project, a load of others basically. The fact that this 17 year old, who was 16 at the time of recording these Backrooms videos, has gained the attention of all these companies is absolutely mind-boggling. The guy is an absolute prodigy. I said this from day one. The guy is a prodigy at what they do. And even before the Backroom stuff, when they were doing Attack on Titans, they were like 14 years old making Attack on Titans videos. It's absolutely mind-boggling, like I said, how, how this can happen. And I think it's good news for horror creators because it, it shows to me that if you're good enough at what you do and you gain enough attention and you're original and creative, you have a chance of hitting the big time just from your own ideas and your videos. It's the same as Skinnamarink. I watched Skinnamarink the other day. I, I mean, I wasn't a huge fan, but the person who originally directed that or directed that was a YouTube horror creator before that. And it just, I, I feel like this new talent on YouTube is just something that the film industry hasn't seen before. I think all this access to like videos of how to edit, how to do VFX is vastly available out there for people to learn in their own time. And there's literally prodigies being made like Kane Pixels, Kane Parsons. Now, the one thing I want to try and discuss is whether or not they're going to be going with the same storyline as what Kane has been making up. Because if that's the case, then will the, the series at the moment continue or will it be a little bit different? Because the script has actually been written by somebody else, Roberto Patino. And this is crazy, by the way. So it's not just the films being like the series has been adapted to a film, but Kane is actually directing the film. At 17 years old, directing a film with companies as huge as these, that is absolutely insane. I've never heard of anything like that before. And I, I just, yeah, hats off. That was, It's incredible. Um, I'm a huge fan. I'll always be a huge fan. But here's the thing. So I'm not sure how they're going to do this. Uh, obviously, uh, maybe in the future, if more details come out, I'll make a new video on it. But obviously, we know that... Kane series is mainly based on found footage, kind of analog horror-esque style. And it'll be interesting to see if they go with the found footage style, but it's different with the series, because with the series, it's a, it's like a, almost like um, logs. But with a film, it's gonna have to flow. And I'm not sure how they're gonna do that, if they're gonna do, do it the same as the series, but either way, it's gonna be fantastic. What's funny about this as well is that Kane has to actually wait until their summer vacation. I'm guessing they're in college or in education still, and they can't obviously go out of their learning to do this. For now, guys, there isn't much else to report on. I can only speculate with what's actually happening, but I am really looking forward to seeing where this goes. I feel like it might be a huge success. If Kane's directing it, then we're going to see some because obviously his series alone is amazing and the way that's been done the the sound design the camera work everything 
obviously is his creative input so with him directing this might be something huge uh, uh, the only problem is is if the script will be good i'm not sure if kane's gonna have any kind of say on the script because obviously this is his original story based on a creepypasta obviously but it's not completely original but he was the one that kind of burst into the mainstream media so it'll be interesting to see how that plays out but i have nothing but high hopes because the guy is as i said an absolute prodigy let me know down below if you're excited for this or if you think that maybe it will take the edge away but i personally feel like with an absolute like because bear in mind he did this on his own i'm not sure what what the product was what the the amount of production that goes into the series is obviously there's there must be some because it's absolutely amazing but with a full budget behind this guy i feel like the creative flow will just be insane and we might see a horror film that people will remember for a while but yeah there we go guys i'll link the article here for you to read for yourself down below um, obviously I'll link Kane's original channel down below as well. Honestly, I'm super excited for this. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you did enjoy and I'll see you in the next video. Take care guys.